Oh, no, see, look below. It's her name, the Bard, and I'm coming to you from uh, the uh, Salt Lake City area. Um, Clowny D, uh, he's got a funny name. He's kind of a funny kangaroo. But uh, he flew me in today on a helicopter from Australia. Hell, that's a ride. <laughs> that's a long ride. <laughs> I thought I'd be out swimming. Anyway, he landed really well here in the uh, Salt Lake City uh, Temple Square. <laughs> Some of the Mormon... <laughs> Security came out and go, hell, it's the bard, let him go. <laughs> you, can't, you can't stop the bard. You just can't stop the bard. Anyway, how many times have I told you, you cannot believe a word that the Mormons say. Your ears <laughs> will make you commit deeds that you'll never believe. These people are a cult. These people in a cult will always say the right things. We love you. We love you. We love children. Women should be respected. Everything that is the right thing they say. Everything they do is the wrong thing. Now, I've got a link down below. The bar don't lie. Bar don't lie. I'd be a richer man today if I lied, but that's just the world. I just can't be in the world that way. Anyway, we have a parade uh, in Utah. It's called the Days of 47. Now, let me tell you something about the Mormons, okay? They celebrate their holidays more than any federal holidays. The Days of 47 have horses going through, spacecraft going through, jets, old men on horses, young girls on horses, the state president and all of the girls dancing together, the Joseph Smith and his 97, or 40 wives, I'm sorry, uh, are marching through on the, um, the Days of 47. And oh God, you line the sidewalks up and they put their um, their um, outdoor chairs. Now I have to admire this. One thing about Utah is they put shit out overnight and no one steals it. In the Philippines, <laughs> goddamn, one day I had Abigail on the motorcycle. It was raining. I took her raincoat off and we put it on the back of the motorcycle and parked it to go in the doctor's office. I hadn't run, uh, or I hadn't gone 10 feet. 10, 15 feet. I turn around and here's the guy grab the raincoat. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> there goes her raincoat. Utah, they'll set all those chairs and things out for miles. Miles and miles. And none of them are ever... I should, I'm should. i exaggerating. Maybe one was stolen once in 1938. I don't know. The principle is you can set some very expensive camp gear out there and no one touches it. No one touches it. Well, anyway, the Days of 47 Parade uh, can be miles and miles long. Bands playing, high school, junior high schools, floats that, you know, show Joseph Smith with his 40 wives, and three more teenagers running behind the float trying to get on board, if you know what I mean. So, anyway, um, the Mormons say one thing, then they do another. Now, let me finish what I'm saying with, with the, fourth, uh, the 24th of July or the, the uh, days of 47. I think it is the 24th of July is the parade. Huge parade and, and thousands, maybe tens of thousands of people lining the sidewalks and watching it, throwing candy and you know they have those little Shriner cars, that <laughs> kids running, it's cool stuff. I, I don't like parades and I don't like fireworks but I like the spirit of uh, community. Well, Utah has just passed one of the most comprehensive uh, anti LGBT and bang, 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 whatever your weenie, whatever your pussy, or not pussy, whatever your vagina wants to do, you can do it, and you can live in a house, you can have a job. You know, they really praise to the man <laughs> and the woman. <laughs> anyway, they they hold this law up as Mormons do not discriminate. We love everybody polygamous, black people, gays. We love everybody. Well, guess what? The gay contingency wanted to uh, march in the parade as part of the community. <laughs> See, the Utah law applies to everything that has nothing to do with the Mormon church. 
But as soon as the people who are gay and they want to, you know, dress up and march just like a band or just like a, a float or whatever, the Mormons said, screw you. You're gay and we hate your ass. <laughs> Lesbians too, we don't care. If you can't put your penis in the right place, we don't want you in there. So anyway, I tell you over and over and over, do not look at what the Mormons say. Look at what they do. Now, the 24th of uh, July, the, I think it's the days of 47, they'll have covered wagons and, and Mormons walking across the prairie, some dragging behind the wagon like they're dead. Uh, you know, the Mormons said, oh, we lost so many people coming across and being driven out of Nauvoo. Uh, the statistical <laughs> facts of the matter is no more Mormons died on the Mormon trail coming to Utah than if they stayed in their own houses in the Midwest or the East, whatever. The um, death rate was identical. It was like, but the Mormons, again, they want, don't listen to what they say. Look at what they do. They weren't dying, uh, you know, more than the normal population. Well, anyway, this parade that they do for their religious holiday, um, it celebrates the day that I think Brigham Young came into the Salt Lake Valley. Well, it goes for miles and miles. Now, the 4th of July parade in the Republican state, we love the Constitution. Freedom, freedom, we love, don't listen to them. The 4th of July parade has a four-year-old and a little tiny flag, and he's bicycling down <laughs> the road, and cars are going all around him. They don't block the streets off for the 4th of July. The poor little kid is going like that. There's the 4th of July parade in uh, the state of Utah. So, you know, don't let your eyes lie to you. Don't let your eyes lie. Look at what they're doing and um, what they're saying. So anyway, I have a link down below that shows they still hate gay people. They don't know what to do with them. They want to own all the, the penises and vaginas, but they don't know if they really want a gay penis and a, and a lesbian vagina. They don't know. <laughs> It's power, power, power to the church. So anyway, um, take a look at the link down below. Show that, uh, you know, they hate gays. I don't care how many laws they pass. I don't how, care how many times they put on their suits and their ties and try to look like um, educated, reasonable people. They're not. They're not. So I'm praying for them. Pele ale, oh God, hear the words of my mouth. I'm going to repeat that three times. And um, I don't want them to punish me uh, with the penalty of cutting my throat or cutting my heart out or cutting my guts out. And when they say, hi Bart, how you doing? I say, hey, health and enable, mayor on the bone, strength and loins and the power and priesthood be upon me and upon my posterity through all generations of time and throughout all eternity. Can the bard be in the parade? <laughs> probably not. He's not gay. I'm lesbian, yes, I'm lesbian. <laughs> so I probably won't be able to get in the parade. Anyway, this bard's gone.